uh, in this session we'll be looking at uh, the square root of a complex number. So let's work with this example. Uh, you'll be required to find the square root, the square root of uh, 3 plus 4i. So you'll be required to find the square root of 3 plus 3 plus 4i. How do you get the square root of 3 plus 4i? We just say let this be, let the square root be equal to a plus bi. So to remove the power 2, it becomes 3 plus 4i is equal to a plus bi to the power 2. Let's expand. A becomes a squared plus 2abi plus b squared i squared. But b squared i squared, remember i squared that's minus that's minus 1, so this becomes minus b squared. So we end up having a squared minus b squared plus 2ab. So we have managed to group the real part and then we have the imaginary part. So if two complex numbers are equal, if 3 plus 4i is equal to this, it means we then take the real, uh, the real parts and say and form an equation which is 3 is equal to a squared minus b squared. So that's equation 1. And then the imaginary part 2ab must be equal to 4. We say 4 is equal to 2ab. So that's your equation 2. So we solve these two equations simultaneously. So from equation from equation uh, from equation 2, we see that a we can say a is equal to 2 over b and let's substitute this value of a in equation in equation in equation one so that becomes three is equal to a squared which is two over b squared minus b squared so the entire equation now is expressed in terms of b so this becomes b squared four over b squared you multiply the entire equation by b squared it becomes three b squared is equal to four minus b to the power b to the power 4 so this can be written as b to the power 4 b to the power 4 mm, plus 3b squared minus 4 is equal to 0 what then do we do we can then change this to be a quadratic to be a quadratic uh, equation let's just say let's make here uh, let's substitute and say y is equal to b squared so we substitute b squared for y it becomes y squared plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 let's solve the quadratic uh, equation the roots minus 4 two numbers minus 4 that's 4 and minus 1 so it becomes y plus 4 y minus 1 is equal to 0 uh -huh. let's move to the two parts so y plus 4, y minus 1, or y becomes minus 4 or 1. But remember, our y is equal to b squared. So we can say b squared is equal to minus 4 or 1. So b will be equal to the root of these uh, two factors. So that will be the square root of minus 4 or root 1. So we then dismiss this one and say b is equal to plus or minus 1. What will be the values, the corresponding values of A? When B is equal to, let's go back to uh, where we say A is equal to 2 over B. So when B is equal to 1, A will be equal to, A will be equal to 2. And when B is equal to uh, minus 1, A will be equal to minus 2. So our complex roots will be equal to the square root. So it means the square root of 3 plus 4i will be equal to Let's say the square root of 3 plus 4i will be equal to 1 plus uh, our a, our a, or sorry, our a is the real part, so our a is the real part, which is 2, so we say 2 plus i, or minus 2 minus i. So that is the square root of uh, 3 plus 4i. 
2 plus i or minus 2 minus 1.